Good morning, everybody. On this Sunday morning, Paula is off, but I'm very pleased to have Whit Johnson and Eva Pilgrim with me here on what is truly a historic morning as we take a look back at the life of Senator John McCain, who was a war hero, a two-time presidential contender, and whose final years were characterized by a brave battle with brain cancer and an extraordinary and contentious relationship with a sitting U.S. president. An incredible American life came to an end at around 4.30 local time in McCain's home state of Arizona. The six-term senator died just four days before his 82nd birthday. McCain had been battling glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer, since July of last year. On Friday, Senator McCain's family issued a statement announcing his decision to discontinue medical treatment. And we're looking live this morning at a picture of the White House where the American flag has been lowered to half staff and over at the U.S. Capitol building, the same tribute. In Vietnam this morning, the site in Hanoi where McCain's plane went down during the war, you see locals laying flowers there now. Tributes pouring in from all the living former presidents this morning, as well as from the current president, Donald Trump, who has been very critical of McCain, tweeting, my deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain. Our hearts and prayers are with you. We're going to be talking about this relationship coming up on a very busy and, as we said, historic morning. We have team coverage this morning. Chief Anchor George Stephanopoulos standing by. But we want to start here with ABC's Terry Moran, who is near John McCain's home in Sedona, Arizona. Terry, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan. Uh, this ancient desert this morning, it seems a little different. An ordinary human life is dwarfed by it. But John McCain left his mark here in his beloved adopted home state of Arizona. And Arizonans knew it. They elected him six times to the United States Senate, finding in McCain's conservative yet occasionally maverick politics something that matched that kind of flinty pioneer politics of their heroes, Barry Goldwater, Sandra Day O'Connor. And so when the motorcade bearing McCain's body left his ranch just a mile or so from here, uh, and bringing him with a police escort down to Phoenix, uh, where there will be a service later this week. Occasionally, you'd see ordinary Arizonans come out to say farewell. His family saying farewell as well. Uh, his wife, Cindy, issuing an emotional statement saying, my heart is broken. I am so lucky to have lived the adventure of loving this incredible man for 38 years. He passed the way he lived on his own terms, surrounded by the people he loved, in the place he loved best. And his daughter, Megan, also issuing a very emotional st statement saying, I was with my father at his end as he was with me at my beginning. In the 33 years we shared together, he raised me, taught me, corrected me, comforted me, encouraged me, and supported me in all things. He loved me and I loved me him. He taught me how to live. What father could want anything more? What husband could want anything more? Guys. And Terry, there has been an outpouring of support from McCain's colleagues on both sides of the aisle, but Democratic Minority Leader Chuck Schumer already talking about a special tribute. That's right. Uh, the, Chuck Schumer has said that uh, the grand Senate office building, now known as the Richard Russell Senate office building, should be renamed for John McCain and become the John McCain Senate office building. Richard Russell, a longtime 20th century senator from from Georgia, a segregationist, though, and so some in many ways his politics have passed, and uh, Chuck Schumer wants to rename that building, which we all know from movies and from the great uh, hearings that go on up there, the John McCain Senate office building. I think a lot of people will see that as a fitting tribute. Terry Moran in Sedona, Arizona. Terry, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.